Namaskaram. Today we have with us Manju, who is our student success mentor. We also have Pranati and Radha Dikshita. Dikshita, you already know her. She has given her intermediate exams recently. Radha and Pranati are preparing for their inter exams, upcoming inter exams, both the groups. So this conversation is all about uh, understanding how the learning process works. Yeah. So when we talk about learning, we should not get confused that studying is equal to learning. This is a very important discussion. You have to pay attention to understand this. Now, most of the students study for a lot of time. Now, what is studying? It's linear. You open a book, you flip the pages or you watch a lecture. Watching is not equal to learning. Studying is not equal to learning. So, Dikshita, at this function, do you agree to the statements? Like, can you elaborate on this? Uh, when I have to differentiate between studying and learning, when we were discussing about it, the only example that would come in my mind was uh, Rancho from Three Idiots, where in that three minutes he asked them to discuss, like, uh, search the meaning for a word. Everyone was keen on uh, just searching the word but not knowing the meaning of it. So that itself, studying is where you, with the book, you're studying, but learning is where you actually want to understand something quest for knowledge i think that is what is the difference between so why do you think uh, learning is actually important because throughout your schooling it was good if you could study and write the exam mm -hmm. now why are you suddenly talking about learning because we are at the uh, junction where what we learn will actually we have to use it in the practical lives to make even a living so <laughs> whatever you learn is been reproduced in your daily life so mm -hmm. Learning is one way where you learn, you grow. Mm -hmm. So, that. So, rather, what's your thought on this? Studying versus learning. What do you think are the differences? Uh, just like uh, I cannot, I personally cannot memorize anything. So to study uh, something, even if you tell me to read a page, I cannot uh, memorize it without learning it so for me learning is more important than the outcome is my understanding so practically you're saying you can only learn you cannot study that's the yes sir so studying versus learning what's your take on this i think it helps like you know to think clearly it makes you think clearly and mm. uh, like it, uh, it's it's like you don't have to be like you know uh, you don't. You need to know everything in order to study. So mm -hmm. that's what I think. So. Got it. Okay, so to get this into the current context, uh, when you're talking about exams like CA, you do not have a choice but to learn the concepts. You just cannot study, memorize, and write the exam. So you don't have a choice. So if you look at why so many students are failing most of the time, they're studying but not learning. So, sitting for 8 to 10 hours for 6 to 7 months is not going to translate into learning. So, today we are going to fix this problem. Okay. So, Manju, uh, before we proceed forward, uh, is this approach even required? Can we not just make them study like anywhere else and help them clear? Why do we even have to think about this new dimension called learning and why are we even having this discussion? What's your take on this? So, for a given exam studying usually translates into I mean studying and passing mm -hmm. that can happen but given the toughness of our exams and given the conceptual knowledge that that is tested in the exam mm -hmm. I think it's very very important that we learn something rather than just study because ICA will never let students who just study pass mm -hmm. you have to learn to pass so mm -hmm. I think that's to pass you need to learn in this kind of curriculum because the testing is done in such a way that it tests your understanding of the subject. It doesn't test whether you've memorized it or not. It tests your deep understanding of the subject and application. So you have to learn to pass. Okay. So uh, in, the, in this series, we are going to discuss uh, the differences between studying and learning. And most importantly, how are we creating a learning path? Okay. So my observations are one, students are studying a lot but they're not able to learn much. This is one. Two, when students study a lot, but do not learn, there is no return on investment. Studying is effort. The outcome should be learning. So when you study and still you're not able to learn, that creates a lot of 
frustration, mental trauma. And since you're studying so much, which is not reflected in the result, you're forced to reconsider your image and your ability. Let's say how dreadful it is for a student who would have studied for three to six months and then see a negative result or three to six attempts and then a negative result. Now, how would, be, how would they be thinking about themselves? They'll be having question marks about their own ability, saying that uh, I studied so much, still I did not pass, which actually means I may not be good for this course or I, I may not be good for many things. So that is a bigger problem. Now, this is just an efficiency gap. So when you're studying, if you're not able to learn, there's a lot of inefficiency in the process. Now, with our approach, we're trying to remove the inefficiency in the process so that when somebody studies for X amount of time, they should be able to learn and clear. Or you don't study, don't clear, that is a different path. Like there are certain students who do not study at all. They don't get as much affected as compared to the students who actually study and still don't clear because that creates a question mark. And the bigger problem is in defining their goals, in defining their personality, they hesitate to create bigger goals. They hesitate to take the next steps forward. So this is not only impacting their career, it is impacting their psychological status and most importantly, significantly affecting their mental health and relationship within their peers and family members also. So this impacts the, all the four wheels of life, talking about career relations, health, mental health, especially, and also the wealth, income earning capabilities. Okay. So uh, in the next conversation, we'll dig deeper into this with the practical example of how are we going to resolve it. But this video, my takeaway or our takeaway mutually is studying is not equal to learning. So can we all agree upon that? Fair enough. Okay. So the next part, we'll get into the solution part. Thank you.